right, so this is our master's toolkit beta so far. Um, we'll start out with cartographer because everyone loves the map building. And we'll go from there. So here's some of our sci-fi essentials assets. Um, we'll just start by building a small area. Yeah, check in some walls. So I've tried to make everything as easy to work with as possible. So you can just click on this, go to our perspective walls, the polygon walls, set our width to say 0.45, and now we can just click. Do that. We've realized that we need to make a door there, so we're going to select it. At a point, move that one over to there, and then move this one down. Nice. Throw in a door. Let's, let's do a search, actually. Nice. We've got a pretty good amount of doors here. Let's just use this one. Excellent. Scale them down a little. Nice, we'll move our pivot points, and now when we rotate him, he's going to rotate from there. Alright. So now we can do some other fun things. So let's just find some water. So say like a pool in here. We can have this move around. So we can say... Yeah. So I guess now we've just got some light movement there, just to bring our map alive a little bit. Um, we have a lot of other fun options, so let's get some interior going. So we can place our stuff down here. We have full lighting, so if we have this say lit up, if we go to our time of day settings, Maybe daytime or nighttime. Go to you, set our shadows. So yes, now as we move this around, our lights are going to update in real time. We're going to do fun things like change our color, our radius, all that sort of stuff. Um, we can have it flicker. So we get that sort of pulse effect. So yeah. It's all pretty good. We can do full image manipulation, so you can change like the hue of things, the saturation, the brightness, all that sort of stuff. Um, we can relayer everything, so if you want this to be below the wall, we can just move it to the bottom. And there we go. Um, if you win a prize, just say a shake effect. And I can go on and off. So yeah, that's a nice little overview of those sort of things. We have full support for animated assets. So if you go into our animations here, we can get, say, a hover drone and chuck him in. Give him a sec to load in all the animations and whatnot. We've got to load every frame. All right, so now we can see that he's there. He's doing his thing, love and life. So we'll chuck him over there. All right, next up is our Fog of War. So we can enable it. Once we reset it, we can see that it sort of goes gray for us, unless we want to see what our players see. If we want to say grab our drone here and light him up. And we'll set our color to black. And then we'll say, turn on light through fog. So now as we move this guy around, he's going to reveal what he sees. We set the mode to automatic, then he'll just reveal what he sees sort of as he moves around. And so this is how we do our Fog of War stuff for our players and whatnot. All right, um, there's some other fun options. So you have map rotation. If you want anything to be in a certain orientation, we can do pinging. So if you want to alert your party to something on the map, 
You can just tap. And we've got currently three different ping options. We have alert, question, and regular. And yeah, so that's largely our cartographer so far. Um, we've got a lot of fun options, still a few things that we're building, but yeah, it's going pretty well. So next up will be our soundscape module. So this is where all your music and ambience and that sort of thing is. So if we run new, um, we can check the audio up a bit. Actually, I should start this recording. Cool. So we have our audio here. We can adjust the individual instruments. So we can have these go up, add the drums in, some bagpipes. Oh yeah, just fully edit all of our audio, essentially. Just up here. We have our ambience. So if we jump in here to the ambience player, um, this here is where we can build sort of full ambience presets and drag them in. So if you want to grab you, let's say, have a roaring dragon preset start playing. So our adventurers have decided to enter the dragon slayer. You can see here all the ambiences that are playing. Um, we've got times, we've got all that sort of thing going on. Turn the volume down a bit. So yeah, so we can edit all of these, we can add separate effects. So we've got, say, our pitch, our volume, our reverb, all that sort of stuff is all in there. So we can, say, have the pitch vary a lot more, and that'll completely change how it sounds. Then last up is our sound effects palette. So with this one, we can just essentially set a whole heap of pre-made sound effects, and then we can just click it and it'll play the sound. So the beauty of this is that we can, yeah, just drag things over to here where they're instantly accessible. So then when we need them, we can just click on you, bring up our little soundscape window. And so now you've got all the sounds that you need pretty much wherever you need it. And yeah, pretty much anything can be hotkeyed along the side here. So we have our map tiles, images that we can show to our players, uh, more map tiles, songs, sound effects, maps, etc. Just so it's really easy to find the content that you need when you need it. Close all you up. So next up is our encyclopedia module. So this is where all your notes and campaign management and that sort of thing are located. So if we go in, say here, for example, we can see a note that we've made. We can just right click to add any new fields. So if we just say add a new text field, call it um, just new stuff. So we'll come down here, we can type anything that we want. Um, we have our default text color set, but if we want to change it, we can just go up here, change the color, change the bold, italic, all that sort of thing. If we want to do any content linking, we can say just click and drag it in. So now if we click on it, it's going to pop up with our new note. So yeah, this is a really powerful content management tool that lets you really easily link things together. And once again, it's really easy to just access it when you need it. So if you want to say drag this note over here, because you know that you'll need it later, when you're in your game, you can just click on it and it'll pop up and you can just access it as needed. Cool. And um, we have a full hotkey system, so if we jump in here, you can see that we have a large number of hotkeys. So we're trying to make everything possible hotkeyable in the toolkit. And you can see we have, yeah, quite a lot of options, and much all of these can be assigned their own hotkeys, so that you can do whatever you want when you want to. Pretty solid. Um, any content can be hotkeyed as well, so if you want to say, Get out of here, grab our the SFX palette and assign a hotkey to the wizard. Let's just call it W, confirm. All right, so now if we hit W, we get our wizard popping up. And we can see in our hotkey panel that, go down here. Once you wait for it to load, of course, it's trying to take a bit. A lot of hotkeys to load, as you can see. Uh, 
We have our custom functions where we have this sound effect palette is bound to W. So then, yeah, when we hit it, bam, it's just going to come up. So yeah, the hotkey system is just another way that you can access all your content exactly when you need to. And yeah, that's about all I can show on this front. We've got our full graphic settings, default toolkit colors, um, all our audio settings and whatnot are here. A couple of bugs, but that's fine. Cartographer, soundscape, encyclopedia settings. So you can see with all our default colors and whatnot, we're trying to give you complete control over all your stuff. And um, yeah, I think that's about all. So I think that's it.